Hello, what's up YouTube photographer Ronix Web and I in this tutorial I'll be showing you how end skin retouching in just 10 minutes. So simply spare 10 minutes and you watch and understand and learn frequency separation from the very start to the very end. So this is the before and after before after. So I'm just going to come and delete this and we learn frequency separation from the very start to the very end. So I'll simply come to the background and simply press Ctrl J twice because frequency separation divides the image into the colors and the texture so when you combine both layers you end up with the same exact image so I'll just name this to color and name the upper layer to texture just like that so i just want to refine and remain with the information as i've named it right here so i'll just come and hide the high frequency layer or the texture layer and select the color layer so simply come to filter blur and come down to gaussian blur so this is the most important step when it comes to editing using frequency separation. I'll come to the radius and after choosing an area that has more skin texture than the rest of the skin, I'll just zoom in and now take up the radius. So you left click and drag up the radius up to the point when the textures are just starting to disappear from the image. So I'll just take that up. So at around 7, that is when I'm having my texture just starting to disappear. So you have to stop at the point when the textures are just starting to disappear from the image and hit OK. Select the texture layer now activate it. Then come to image and come down to apply image. So after coming to apply image, my image is an 8-bit image. So if I told you have 8-bit, simply select the color layer, change the blend mode to subtract and make sure the scale is trend offset 128. Make sure the opacity is at 100%, preserve transparency and mask and check and the invert option is not turned on. Make sure it is not turned on. And you can hit OK. But if I told you are you using a 16-bit image, make sure you select the color layer. Blending has to be at the scale is to offset zero, and make sure you turn on the invert option, and you'll have the same texture on this gray layer. So mine is a, is an 8-bit image. I'll change it to subtract. The scale is to offset 128, and hit OK. Change the blend mode from normal to linear light, and I'll get back the image where it was meant to be. I'll put this two in a group by pressing Ctrl. Or command G and grouping them I'll open up this group so we have the colors and textures separated I'll simply come and hide the color layer and select the I'll simply hide the texture layer and select the color layer because I want to perfect the colors in the image by blending or evening out the skin tones of the model so I'll come under the brushes and simply right click and select the mister brush tool if I told it is not under the brushes you can find the mister brush tool down here so just come and set it right by making sure the hardness is set all the way to zero percent make sure the brush is clean and select the option that says clean the brush after each other stroke the weight is going to be nine percent load 75 mix at 90 to 100 percent and after doing that just come and start painting on the skin so in order to paint make sure you can increase or decrease on the size of the brush tool by using the left hand or the open and close brackets on the keyboard. So the left hand is going to decrease on the size and the right is going to increase on the size. So if I told the Mr. Brush tool is showing a plus icon, simply press the caps lock on the keyboard. So as you're mixing, make sure that you're retouching at a distance because at a distance you can notice the uneven skin transitions and you can work on them quite well or even better. So how to do this? Simply left click and hold down and you move the brush in the direction of the area you're trying to work on. So you can see the forehead is moving in this kind of up, down, curved direction. So mix like that. And when it comes to a new area, you left click and hold down and you drag the cursor or the brush in that direction of that area. So when it comes to this highlight area, I'll mix it alone. Just like that. And the way it is transitioning from one color to another, use a smaller brush and mix the boundary alone just like that to create a harmonious transition between the skin tones and you can see the image is now looking a little bit plastic but that shouldn't worry you because when you come and turn on the texture layer you can see we still have the textures left intact within this very image so I'll just come and hide the texture layer and continue working on the skin so I'll forward this and I'll see you later on in this video
hello welcome back and now you can see we are done editing the skin and using the mr brush tool you can see the before after before after so if i told you want perfect areas you may have missed that when you're using frequency separation using a mr brush tool come and get the lasso tool right here and make sure it is in new selection mode with the feathering of 20 pix 22 pixels you can simply make sure that the edges are going to be smooth as possible make sure anti alias is selected and simply come and make a selection and that selection should follow the way or that shape of a given area to keep and maintain the original shape of a model's face just come back to filter blur and come down to gaussian blur with the radius that you had for a frequency separation just drag this up until when you feel like uh the texture is as natural as possible for your liking but for my case i'll just multiply seven by three so whichever value you use for your frequency separation multiply it by three and type in the value so seven by three is 21 i'll just delete the seven and type in 21 and I'll come and simply hit OK. So I'll keep on applying it onto the rest of uh, the skin because this tends to perfect the areas you may have missed out when you're using or mixing using a mixer brush tool. So I'll just come right here, filter, blind, come down to Gaussian blur, just like that. I hope you are learning and understanding it all. So I'm just going to be doing this onto the rest of the areas that have skin. So when it comes to the nose, apply it on only the corners of the nose and don't apply it on the overall nose because that is going to flatten or remove this highlight. So don't apply it on the highlighted part of the nose. So after applying it on the areas of the face that have been perfected, the next thing is going to be showing you before and after. The next thing is going to be basically removing the pimples or skin imperfection. So just come the text color and now activate it and come and get the clone stamp tool. Make sure it is set right. So make sure the hardness is set all the way to 0%. The blend mode is normal, opacity and flat 100%. Make sure line is selected and the sample has to be the current layer because we want to remove textures which are like pimples on the model's face. So select the text color and now you can come and zoom in. And how to remove a blemish, you can use this option or this method. So you, you look for a pinpoint blemish where it is. And now you hold down the option key for Mac. So you hold it down. If at, all you, you, if at all you are using Windows, simply hold down the alternate key on the keyboard. And you left click on an area that is near the blemish or a clean area that is near the pinpoint or blemish that you want to eliminate. So you left click and hold down to copy clean skin and you release the option key or the alternate key on the keyboard and simply click over the blemish to paint it with a clean skin and replace it so this is what i'm going to be doing and i'll see you later on in this video And now you can start we're done removing the pimples or blemishes and this is the before after before after so after doing the skin retouching anything is going to be a little bit of eye whitening so i'll just close the frequency separation group and come and select hue and saturation and simply come to a saturation and simply desaturate it to around negative 65 and select this layer mask and press ctrl or you can use command i on the keyboard come and get the brush tool and make sure the hardness is set all the way to zero and soft round brush is selected with the opacity and flat 100 percent make sure you have black and white on these colors right here or you can press d on the keyboard to reset it in a default black and white color and with the brush tool you can simply whiten the eyes and teeth of the model make sure white is the foreground color you can use the arrow key to put white on top and just come right here and simply paint over the eyes to whiten them so just do that and you're going to be good to go. So after editing, the next thing is going to be saving the photo so that it doesn't change in color when you post it or print it out on. So what you're going to do is just simply going to come right here and you're going to come to file export and come down to export as. So with this done, you're simply going to open up the export as window. Make sure the format is set to JPEG quality at 100%. Make sure the resample is set to by cubic sharper. So this is the most important step for this 
export as option make sure convert srgb selected and also embed color profile selected and simply hit export and after the image is done saving it is going to automatically close this so this is the before after before after so this is how you can do high-end screen retouching using frequency separation and if at all you have enjoyed this simply like this video don't forget to subscribe this channel if at all you have been watching and you're not subscribed yet to this channel ronix from ronix photography thank you for watching i'll see you yet more amazing trials and don't forget to keep practicing and also keep creating